Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to walk you through the solution for vulnerability room in TryHackMe. So the first thing that we have to do is deploy the machine, which I have already done. So this particular task is completed. Moving to the next task, which is reconnaissance. In this we have to do the nmap and uh, this is our IP. We have to run the nmap on this particular IP. And map so our end map scan is complete now let's see what we have to do after this okay there and okay we have done the end map scan for this we have will mark this as completed uh, scan the box how many ports are open Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, and six. Six ports are open. Six. And what version of Squid Proxy is running on the machine? Squid Proxy, the answer is 3.5.12. 3.5.12. How many ports will nmap scan if flag hyphen p hyphen 400 was used? So these 400, the first 400 ports will be scanned. So the answer is 400. Uh, using the nmap flag hyphen n, what will it not resolve? So the answer over here is hyphen n. So for this, you need to have a little bit knowledge of uh, nmap for answering this. What is modes? likely operating system this machine is running okay, okay, okay. so it is running Ubuntu what port is the web server running on okay Apache is our web server and, and it is running on port double three double three So it's important to ensure you are always doing your reconnaissance thoroughly, thoroughly before progressing, knowing all open services, which can all be points of exploitation is very important. Don't forget that ports on a higher range might be open. So always scan ports after thousand, even if you leave scanning in the background. So, okay, we are good with it. Now moving to the task three. This task is completed. Okay. So our task three is locating directories using GoBuster. For this, it is not necessary to use GoBuster. You can use directory search or derb also. I'm going to use directory search for this particular uh, task. Okay. We'll just mark it as completed. You have to read it if you want to use GoBuster. So I'll just mark it as completed. Uh, which is the directory that's, that is an upload form page. Firstly, let me just see the application which is running. So this, this is our application and in this application we have to find out a directory that is an upload form page okay for this we will go to my pen testing tools directory in this i have directory search i'll do this directory search okay, okay hyphen u and then my ip along with the port number so it has started to look for the directories. So all these are 403. All these directories are 403. These are files, sorry, not directories. So we have got 403 for them.
we have got some more directories over here we have got css we have got fonts images and internal uh, although this particular searching is in progress but we can try for this directory internal let's see if we find something over here okay and we have found something this is an upload functionality and this is what we were looking for what is the directory that has an upload form page so our answer is internal make sure to answer in the correct format or your answer won't be accepted even if it is correct if the format is not fine okay so this particular task is also complete we will move to the next uh, next task which is the compromise the web server now in this task the first thing that we are being asked is to try upload a uh, try upload a few file types to the server but common extension seems to be blocked okay and observe that the answer needs to be need to start with dot and then we have three uh, letters over here so let me try i'm going to make use of burp suit for this particular thing so i'll just quickly go to browse and in file upload i'll just upload this particular text file my burp suit is running i'll intercept the traffic and submit i'll send this to intruder and let me see okay this extension is not allowed in intruder i'll go to the positions that clear everything and only this thing will be my payload position in the payloads i'm going to provide a php we have doc we have exe we have png we have uh, jpg then we also have html we have html okay let's try with these extensions okay this extension is not allowed doc is also not allowed exe is not allowed png is not allowed jpg is not allowed okay we have a different length for this phtml let me check its response okay it's see okay success it seem phtml is allowed but we have to answer which extension is not allowed dot exe Okay, that's not a correct answer dot txt this is also not correct what about dot php okay this is our correct answer okay we have already used burp suit for this so complete and the right extension is allowed we have already found the extension which is allowed it's phtml now they have given a link for downloading a reverse php shell which i have already downloaded i'll just quickly open it and show it to you open mouse pad in this particular file we have to change certain things and this is the ip which we have to change and this ip is going to be our machine ip and to know our machine ip we can go to this link so our machine ip is this I'll copy it I'll go back where is my file here just change it just make a note of this port and this ip 
I'll just save this file. Okay, now we are going to listen to the connection on port 1234, this port same as what we provide in that particular file, we can provide any port but make sure it's free. We have to do nc hyphen lvp and port 1234. Now I have to upload that particular file. and this is the reverse shell file I'll open it and submit success you should see a connection on your netcat session I'll go to my terminal unfortunately I haven't got any connection over here why? Are we missing something? Okay, I have to navigate to this particular page. Fine. Underscore in my case, underscore. Let me check. Okay, here I have got a connection, so I've got a connection over here on my netcat session. So, this particular question is also answered and it's completed. Now, what is the name of the user who manages web server? Okay. Let me check if who am I is working over here. It's not. Let me see where I am. PWT ls cd home ls bill. Bill is our answer. Yes, bill is our answer. What is the user flag? Okay, let me see if I have any file over here. CD bill ls cat user dot txt. So this is our flag. We have got our first flag. So this particular task is also completed. Now we are left, our, left with our last task which is privilege escalation. Now though we have compromised the machine, we yet not have the root permission. In Linux, SUID or set owner user ID upon execution is a special type of file permission. SUID gives temporary permission to a user to uh, uh, to run the file with the permission of file owner uh, rather than the user who runs it. Actually, the who is the owner of the file? The file will be uh, will be executed with the same permission. Now, for example, uh, we have a binary to change our password, like it's written over here like it's user bin password <clears throat> now this has the suid permission 
Now the compromise machine, we need to find out all the SCUID files. Okay. So I'll just quickly go over here. Since I terminated my connection, I'll do this one, two, three, four. I'll again visit this page to get the connection back. Now I'll do this find. I'm going to find all the SUID files. Now finding files on the basis of permission that is the SUID and uh, I'm filtering out the errors so they will not be output to the console. Now in this particular output we have to uh, we have to find out a particular file which stands out and this particular file stands out. Now it is a utility which is responsible for controlling the system D system and service manager. And this seems to be my answer. Bin system CTL. Now we have to get the root.txt. Now since we had our user flag under the directory of home and bill and their user.txt, what we are looking for is the root.txt file under root directory and to get a flag. For this we need to get the root permission. Now we will we will run a script for this. here what we are doing is we are just getting the output of this particular file into temporary folder which is accessible by this user now we will go to cd tmp cd sorry ls and here we have output so we will do cat output and here we have got our flag just copy it paste it and submit and we have completed this route.